You know what makes me happy besides free PC parts? You subscribing to the Modern Nation. I just burped on camera. <clears throat> What's going on YouTube? My name is Chris and welcome to Immodern Nation. Now, first and foremost, I wanna wish everyone a happy holidays and a happy new year. You know what makes me happy besides free PC parts? You subscribing to my YouTube channel. So if you haven't done so already, be sure to join the Modern Nation and get subscribed by clicking on that subscribe button below. And while you're down there, make sure you ring the bell icon to be notified of my new YouTube videos. And for goodness sakes, people, turn on YouTube notifications. So about a month ago, I put out a video on these Mickey Mouse ears. They light up and play music. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, you should go click the car in the upper right-hand corner. So these light rings are actually controlled by a single board computer called a microcontroller. I use the Adafruit Gemma M0 to tell the lights when to turn on, when to turn off, and for how long you know, among other things. But in order to do that, I had to put some code together. And so I slapped some circuit Python code together that I found on the internet. I, I didn't really know what I was doing. So today I thought we'd learn a little bit about microcontrollers with this SparkFun Inventors Kit. And I thought this kit was so cool that I decided to get two of them. So find out at the end of this video how you can win this spark fun inventors kit today we're going to learn arduino 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 that's the one today we learn to code good So one of the things you might notice in this video is that I'm going to be alternating cameras. I've actually got an eye in the sky just above me right here. Hello. So I'm going to be alternating between this camera and this camera that's just above my eyesight. Kind of stole this idea from Unbox Therapy. I don't really know if it's going to work. Uh, let's see how it goes. All right. So let's take a look at what is inside the kit. So we're going to open up the kit. We have paper, nice. The box is made of cardboard and we get more paper. So what do we get inside? We've got a USB mini cable, set that aside. We have our board. This is a SparkFun red board. So this is kind of similar to the Arduino Uno that you might've heard of. This is a very commonly used board. What's nice about these boards is that they've got uh, these headers for uh, pins that um, <clears throat> the hookup wires that you can easily use to um, wire uh, such things as power, off-board components, etc. So, cool. Uh, we got this mini chip. I can already tell by the logo on here, this is a Texas Instruments chip. SN7, blah, 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 nobody cares. LEDs, multicolor. We got yellow, green, red, blue. We got some resistors. These are 330 ohm and there's 20 of them. This is our breadboard. You can see here. Uh, so what this is gonna be used for is um, <clears throat> wiring and connecting components off of the Arduino board. It's kind of like creating your own circuit board. So you'll see what we do there. Uh, we got our hookup wires. You'll notice that they've got these pins in them and that's gonna allow us to plug into the breadboard and into our Arduino. Screwdriver, although I have my own, but it's there. More resistors, these are 10K. 10K are really good for uh, pull down or pull up resistors. And maybe I'll explain a little bit more about that later in the video. A little servo motor. This looks like uh, an LCD, some sort of LCD unit. Oh, we got a mix here. I uh, see so we've got a tiny motor unit. It's got a capacitor running across the terminals. Uh, we got some button tops, some ribbon cables to something, maybe a sensor. This is a relay. Uh, these little black three prong, these are transistors. So, more LEDs. 
this is the board that we're going to be using. So we got that. Spark Fun has given us some stickers. Let your geek shine, but only do it in the safety of other geeks. And of course, our SIK guide. Oh, got a little scratch there. The SIK guide, this is the Spark Fun Inventors Kit. It's going to have all of our projects, how to set everything up, how to connect the breadboard to your computer. We're going to be using the cable. How to use the Arduino IDE. This is the software that you're going to need to download in order to program your board. So it's got an inventory of the parts that came with it. You get your jumper wire, LEDs, resistors. There's a potentiometer, a diode, photoresistor, piezo or piezo temp sensor. I'm not really good at pronouncing things as you as you've probably learned flex sensor soft potentiometer servo relay blah 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 you can see that kind of gives you the pin out on the board tells you what is what but it also kind of tells you that on the board itself so you can easily figure out where the wires need to go okay here's your first circuit kind of just some assembly stuff all right, so uh, let's go ahead and start with a uh, beginner's circuit here. So we're gonna do circuit number one, your first circuit. So what I did was I already went and screwed down the breadboard and the breadboard, not to be confused with one another, breadboard is red, breadboard does not look like bread. And I went ahead and screwed them down into this black thing here. Okay, so it says that this is a schematic of your circuit. So breadboard goes to LED, goes to resistor, goes to ground. This is called blinking an LED. So we're just gonna go ahead and follow the instructions. So we're gonna go from three volts, which is right here, right? And it says we're gonna go, actually, I think I put this in backwards too. It's stuck on there. <laughs> All right, well, no matter, we can figure this out. Okay, so it looks like the positive three volts goes to positive red and then we're going to use a black wire like this make sure you use the ones with the pins not the ones that have these little black ends on them so this is ground so we're going to put that into ground okay like that come on get in there you can only do this with one hand so the reason why we did this is to create this power rail. So whatever power we need, we don't have to draw it directly from the Arduino board. We could simply get it from anywhere on this rail. Uh, so I've got my 330 ohm resistor. We're gonna bend it. Looks like from ground to here. Make sure when you put the components in, like the wires or resistors, you push it all the way down until it, it hits the bottom. Otherwise, it might not make contact with your breadboard. The way that they make uh, connection on the breadboard is um, each number. So um, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, they all make contact so long as it's in one row. The way that I have it set is uh, J28 and I28 um, connect together. So that's going to connect the resistor to the negative pin on the LED. We have power and then we have to run a green. I think we run it from here. So we'll put it on F. Four, five, sixth one in. One, two, three, four, five, six. Which one is this? Oh, 13. I think that's pin 13. So that's going to pin 13. So I think then in our program, we're gonna to have to tell it that pin 13 is the one that we want. All right, so now we're gonna do the circuit sketch. Let me go get my computer. All right, so I was able to go online and find the example program. So I've got the code, got the IDE installed. So we're gonna go ahead and open up Arduino IDE. Okay, so we got SIK circuit one blink. While we wait to open that, get my cable. Let's run around this side. Go ahead and plug this bad boy in. All right. It's already blinking. Is it supposed to do that? All right, so we got our code. Uh, we're gonna check tools. 
I'm, we're gonna select the Arduino Uno because the Uno is very similar to the SparkFun like I explained at the beginning. And under port, we're gonna make sure COM port nine is selected. Okay, and there's a little arrow pointing to the right that says upload. We're gonna click upload and send it. Now we just get to sit and wait. Done uploading. And look at that. We got a blinking light right there and it looks like the light on pin 13 is blinking as well. So looks like everything's working so far. So the nice thing is once you close the IDE, the program is actually stored on the board. So as long as the board is getting power, it doesn't matter. Like I could, I don't know, the power's gonna shut off as soon as I close it. Instead of plugging this into a computer, you can plug it into a power outlet as long as you've got like one of those cell phone adapters. It's like a wall jack to USB. It'll power your Arduino. Oh, hey, look, my battery's dying. Let's try something a little bit more difficult. Let's see what we got here. I kind of want to use the LCD display. I wonder if that would be cool. All right, so we've done one of the easiest sketches. Let's try one of the harder sketches. Uh, I think we're going to use the LCD for this one. Move my laptop since I don't need that for now. Fresh start and poof. Magic. Okay, not really. So there was a long portion that I edited out where I was putting it all together while talking to the camera. You guys may or may not see that depending on how this video gets edited, but our circuit is complete and now we get to try it out. Okay, so this is circuit 15 LCD screen loading up the code. Let's go ahead and plug it in. All right, display's turning on. The display's on just means that we're getting power to the display. So again, we make sure we got the Uno selected, COM port is selected, and we upload the code. Hello world, four, five, six. Oh, it's counting. Well, that's kind of cool. I don't know if you can, you can actually see that. You actually see the LCD down here. It's actually counting up. All right, so the time has finally come. We're at the end of this video, and you guys want to find out how to win your own SparkFun kit. Well, it's really easy to do. Just click on the Gleam link in the video description below. There's many ways to get entered. Make sure you refer your friends, let them know, and that will give you more chances to win. Of course, there's no requirement for you to subscribe to this channel or follow me on Instagram or Twitter and, or any of my social media for that matter, but I would really appreciate it if you did, if you enter this contest. Uh, that way you can know when I have future contests. Mm -hmm. Might be giving away more stuff in the future. Make sure you get entered for this contest. Contest ends, uh, we're going to say about February 6th. Uh, I think February 6th is good. But there is a caveat to this, that this contest is only open to U.S. residents. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. It's just because of shipping costs, it makes it really difficult to send this worldwide. However... Any of you who have been following me for a period of time know that when I do contests, there are always two prizes that I give away. So for my international residents who make up a great portion of my channel, thank you so much to all of you. You guys have an opportunity to win a $25 Amazon gift card. That is 25 US dollars, whatever the equivalent of that may be in Canadian dollars or UK money. What is that? Is it? pounds you guys are on euros now huh whatever the equivalent is i will make sure that somebody internationally wins so make sure you get entered you have until february 6th so do it quickly do not hesitate click the link below all right well that is it for me um all that's left to do is take this apart And done. Somebody else can clean it up. Thank you so much for checking out this video. And if you enjoyed it, make sure you slap that like button below and share the video. And while you're at it, why not join the modern nation and get subscribed by clicking on that subscribe button below. And hey, when you do, don't forget to click on the bell icon inside the button to be notified the moment that I release new videos. If you have any comments or questions, be sure to leave them for me in the comment section below. Or why not hit me up on social media? I'd love to hear from you guys. And when you buy products from Amazon, consider using the affiliate links in the video description below. Thank you again so much for watching, and I will see ya!